the ecstatic crowd in that city screaming and cheering when the president took the stage with the first lady to give his victory speech. It was well past 1.30 in the morning East Coast time when that happened. ABC's Jake Tapper was there and joins us now live from Chicago this morning. Good morning, Jake. Good morning, Elizabeth. It was a grueling grind of a campaign, but after almost 180,000 flight miles on Air Force One, 170 events by the president in battleground states, and hundreds of thousands of nasty negative ads on both sides, early this morning, it all came to an end with some grace and poetry. It was a victory that came earlier than many expected. I want to thank every American who participated in this election. Whether you voted for the very first time or waited in line for a very long time. By the way, we have to fix that. The outcome became clear before midnight as the president's Midwestern firewall fell into the O column. Wisconsin, then Iowa, then Ohio. And Networks declared his re-election inevitable. Barack Obama has been re-elected. He and First Lady Michelle Obama rejoiced with the vice president and his wife and other friends and family. The president giving a special thank you to the First Lady. And I wouldn't be the man I am today without the woman who agreed to marry me 20 years ago. Let me say this publicly, Michelle, I have never loved you more. I have never been prouder to watch the rest of America fall in love with you, too, as our nation's first lady. The president tweeted to his supporters, we're all in this together. That's how we campaigned, and that's who we are. Crowds rejoiced in Times Square, outside the White House, in Chicago. But not so much at the headquarters for Mitt Romney in Boston, where bystanders said you could hear a pin drop as the networks called the election for President Obama. Reports last night that Governor Romney was so confident in his victory that he had only written one speech beforehand, a victory speech. Like so many of you, Paul and I have left everything on the field. We have given our all to this campaign. <laughs> I so wish, I so wish that I had been able to fulfill your hopes to lead the country in a different direction. But in the end, it was not even close. Obama won even those outstanding battlegrounds like Virginia, Nevada. I just spoke with Governor Romney and we may have battled fiercely, but it's only because we love this country deeply. So George, the question now, what now? And President Obama has said that he will reach out to Republican leaders. He wants to meet with Mitt Romney. He even last night uh, reached out to Romney voters. Where are some areas of compromise? Well, perhaps tax reform, perhaps immigration reform. We shall see in the days ahead.